Well, hello, good afternoon. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good afternoon. Hi, welcome, welcome. Hello, teacher. Good afternoon. I'm fine. And you? I'm doing great here, getting ready, getting ready for this class, right? So, let me get this straight. Okay, we'll begin here in a few few seconds, a few minutes. Give her a little bit more time for the rest to come in. <clears throat> 12.58. So we'll begin here in about two minutes. Thank you for being punctual. And always ready to progress in the English language. Okay. Let me see. Okay. So are you ready for the weekend? You ready to enjoy the weekend? So so. <laughs> so so. Uh huh. Get ready for enjoy this great weather. It's, uh, it's been raining, right? It's been raining pretty heavy these last few days, but it's normal, right? It's normal. It's it's already raining season. Let me get this. Okay. Okay. Let's begin. It's already. One o'clock, ARP, and thank you for being here on time. Let's begin. So you already know, start start your engines, right? Empezar esos motores. Today's day, Ricardo. Okay, today's date is Thursday, July 29th, 2021. Very good, very good. Adriana. Se me acabó el agua. Okay, I didn't hear you, Adriana. I'm sorry. No la escuché. Okay. Can you... Maybe your microphone? I could not hear nothing. No sé si... Lo... Okay. ¿Y ahora? Okay, now I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Today is... Tuesday, July 29th, 2021. Okay, close, cerca, right? Carolina. Hello, teacher. Hi. ¿Va manejando usted o va de pasajera? Voy de pasajera. Ah, okay, yeah. Estoy viendo ahorita, pero sí, voy viendo que va al lado, el otro lado. Sí. Okay, go ahead. Uh, today... Today, mm -hmm. uh, Thursday, July 29th, uh, 2021. Okay, okay, much better. Very good, very good. Um, Jessica. Hello. Hi. Today, day, Thursday, 29th, 2021. Okay, cerca, right? Todavía le falta la estructura. Let me see, Tatiana. Today is Thursday, July 29, 2021. Very good, very good, Tatiana. Tammy. Okay, one minute. Okay, no problem. Missy Francisco, today's date. Francisco Anaya. Okay, no responde. Eduardo Andadrade, can you give us today's date, please? Um, Thursday, uh, July. Twenty nine. Twenty twenty one. 
Very good, very good, very good, okay? All right. All right. Go ahead, Sammy. Okay, all right, okay, a little bit better, okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, algunas pausas, right? Too many, too many, but pretty good, pretty good, all right? Let me see. All right, today is Thursday, Thursday, July 29th, 2021. Okay, Jessica, ya es tiempo de que vaya ya estructurando bien. Día, mes, número y año, okay? All right, espero para next week eh, dejemos estas fallas que ya son innecesarias, all right? So we are already passed uh, week two. Ya vamos más pasado del 50% del módulo. Y es tiempo de que por tan siquiera ya sepan bien cómo decir una fecha. All right? Y no voy a parar. Todos los días les puedo llamar. All right? Y ya cuando vea que veo un progreso, le doy pausa. All right? But for the meantime, um, I hope you continue. All right? No hay problema si cometen errores. Eso es para corregir, all right? Y mejorar. Eso es todo. No se preocupe. You will do better, right? I guarantee you, at, at the end of the module, al final del módulo, la fecha sí lo van a poder decir. Okay? So don't worry. Practice a little bit more. Jessica and the rest. Let's see. Jessica, say it one more time. Vamos a ver. Jessica? Thursday, Thursday, July 29th. 2021. Very good. Perfect. Excellent. Yes. All right. Very good. <laughs> Don't get nervous. Okay. Don't get nervous. This is your class, right? Esta clase, esta es para ustedes, right? No need to get nervous. Soon, soon you will get rid of that. Yeah. Yeah. By next week, yo pienso que ya estaría usted. Ah, la fecha. Ah, eso ya no es nada para mí, right? Así quiero que se sienta, right? No quiero que se sienta como, oh, right, well, no, no. If you practice two, three times, ya cuando entramos a la clase, un, un minuto, dos minutos que escuchen la fecha, ya. Yeah. Ah, la fecha, tic. Ah, eso no es nada ya para mí. Así quiero que piensen, ¿ok? Eso ya no es okay. nada para mí, ¿ok? Right. ¿Por qué? Porque ya ustedes ya lo van a saber, right? Y lo van a practicar. And you're going to say it, all right? Remember, speaking is the hardest part. Recuerden que nuestra cultura... El habla es lo más complicado, all right? Pero dejemos eso y solos y solas van a seguir ustedes, all right? El progreso. Thank you for participating, everyone. What is today's topic, um, Tatiana? Possessive. Possessives. Possessives, right? Very good. Possessives, right? Los posesivos. Right now, ahí no puse categoría because we're going to see them. Las vamos a ver las tres. Son tres. All right. There are three possessive. You have the possessive adjective, possessive pronoun, and you also have possessive nouns. All right. O en tiempos de inglés antiguo le llamaban el Saxon genitive. All right. El genitivo. Sa, uh, sajón, right? Como decimos, los anglosajones, right? Términos ya antiguos. But for, for this, they're called possessive nouns. Y ahorita los vamos a ver. Don't worry, okay? No se intimiden por los, las categorías, okay? They're easy. They, they are easy. Now, let me, let me show you the platform. And today is class number 10, okay? Today is class number 10. And we are in, in a different section, so I'm going to show you, share screen. Okay, we are in section four, okay? Now here, I just want you to watch this video and it's como de siete minutos, all right? Mm -hmm. I want to ask you something. Le quiero hacer una pregunta, sinceramente. 
Quiero respuestas sinceras, okay? Honestas. I want you to answer. I'm going to call on every one of you. Voy a llamar a cada uno de ustedes, okay? And I want you to answer honestly. Quiero que me respondan honestamente, okay? Por favor. Carolina. Empezó con usted. Carolina García. ¿Usted ya ha mido este video? No. Okay. Tatiana. He quedado en lo de la ropa todavía. Okay, very good. Tatiana, ¿ya miró usted este video de procesos? Sí. Ok, thank you. Jessica, ¿ya miró usted este video? Sí. Yeah. Ok, entonces para los que me están respondiendo que sí, si les hago una pregunta, entonces ya saben, ya saben algo, right? Ok, <laughs> let me see. So Tatiana y Jessica me dijo que sí, right? <laughs> eh, Carolina dijo que no, gracias por ser sincera. Eduardo. No, aún no. Ok, thank you. Tammy, ¿usted ya vio este video? Aún no, dice. Ok, very good. Ricardo. No, teacher. Ok, thank you. Um, Adriana. Yes. Ok, thank you. Let me see. Danubia. No, teacher. Ok, thank you. Nidia. Sí, teacher. Ok, Francisco. No. Ok, thank you. Christian? Yes, teacher. Ok, thank you. Mayensi? No. Ok, thank you. Jenny Palencia? No, teacher. Ok, thank you. Raquel Nájera? No, teacher. Ok, thank you. Gabriela Dueñas? Sí, teacher. Ok, so. Uh, based on the, the responses, basándome las respuestas, más de la mitad no lo ha visto, right? Más de la mitad. So, let me see. Uh, bueno, entonces ya tomé lista de los que no, los que me dijeron que no, right? And... Thank you for being honest. Okay, no van a pensar que, oh, teacher, va a mandar usted una lista. No, no, no. Right? No, de esto es aquí, honestamente, entre ustedes y yo. Okay? So, thank you for letting me know. Porque si todos me dijeron que sí, entonces no iba a enseñar el video. All right? Pero como algunos me dijeron que no, I'm going to show it to you. Okay? Y algunos que lo miraron, quizás ya se les olvidó un poquito y lo vamos a repasar. Okay? So, no problem with that. Thank you for being honest. Okay? Eh, créame, sinceramente nada va a pasar si dijeron que no, ok eh, yo nomás quería ver para ver si lo enseñaba o no el video ok, let's listen to the video and we're going to I want you to focus on the main points because I'm going to do something different, ok pero siempre con el mismo punto I just want you to get an idea one, two, three hi everyone in this class, you'll learn how to use possessives in order to describe the long end of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Okay, this is from yesterday. Remember yesterday we saw this video uh, where they were talking about the clothes that he got blue with the jeans, the white clothes, right? This is in relation to that. Me relaciona eso. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possessives that I want to emphasize on.
In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks. Umbrella and car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object I'm going to grade out. And as you can see, the object is at the beginning, not at the end, as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex's t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction, the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. For example, my car is black 
the black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress is hers. My co-workers computer is white. His computer is white. Okay, that was a video in the platform and you can watch it again. Lo pueden ver otra vez in the platform. is there for you to watch as many times as you like. But, let me see for right now. I'm going to share with you some of those points. Voy a compartir con ustedes esos puntos and a little bit extra. Okay? Something extra for you. Okay. Now, the first thing you need to do is know. Okay? Lo primero que deben de saber es primero aprender y entender la diferencia. The possessive adjective and the possessive pronoun. All right. You have to know first the words. Primero las palabras. No, no confundirla como yours con your. Right. I have a sub. I have the subjects here. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Right. Notice you is double. Right. Se duplica aquí. But this one is plural. Este es el you plural. Por lo cual, eh, ahí depende del contexto how you use it or how you introduce the you or you in singular. Okay. Let me see. Um, for I, the subject I, estamos hablando de uno mismo. I, right? Possessive adjective, we use my. For possessive pronoun, we use mine. Entonces, si alguien me dice, bueno, teacher, ¿cuándo utilizamos cuál? Right? Recuerden esta pequeña estructura. My viene antes del objeto. It comes before the object. Por ejemplo, this is my phone. ¿Qué dije allí? Este, te, este es mi teléfono. O mi celular, right? This is my cell phone. De mi celular. Y si yo quiero decir, este celular es mío. Ah, how would you say it? This cell phone is mine. Very good. This cell phone is mine. Okay? Remember that is mine. Es mío. El mine significa como mío, all right? No pueden decir, este es mío teléfono, ¿verdad que no? Este es mi teléfono, all right? So you use my. My before the object. Remember that. Y si no tienen anotado esto, después se van a perder. El my viene antes. Los possessive adjectives come before the object. Antes del objeto. Possessive pronoun vienen después del objeto. All right? If you know that structure, all right, you will not make a mistake. Si, si reconoce la estructura y ya la notó, no se va a equivocar. All right? You, possessive adjective is your, possessive pronoun, yours. He, possessive adjective is his, y possessive pronoun is his. Notice, si ustedes notan, no cambia. Lo que cambia es la posición. That's what changes. The position in the sentence of possessive. For she is her in possessive adjective. Hers in possessive pronoun. Okay. Espero estén tomando nota porque les voy a dejar unas actividades que las van a hacer solos o solas. All right. And then, eh, eh, espero no me pregunte, teacher, eh, ¿cuál viene? Cu ¿Cuál era la, pues, cómo, right? 
If you're taking notes, se les va a ser más fácil. Claro, les voy a responder, pero hay algunas preguntas que ya las pueden solventar ustedes también. Si están tomando nota. It, it's for possessive adjective. No se utiliza. Remember this. You do not use possessive pronouns on it. Okay? It's you do not use. We don't use it as a possessive pronoun. Now, en varias plataformas o en diferentes sitios, usted lo va a ver escrito it's. All right? It, what I think, lo que yo pienso es que lo ponen es porque para no dejarlo en vacío, pero no se utiliza. Okay? You do not use it's in possessive pronoun. Okay? Porque no puede ir al final. En esa es la como la única excepción. So, in possessive pronouns, don't worry. No se preocupen del it's. Okay? In possessive pronoun. In possessive adjective, C. Sí. Okay? We. Our for possessive adjective. Ours. Con S. We possessive pronoun. You in plural. Your for possessive adjective in yours. Yours in possessive pronoun. It's the same. Well, it's not the same. We add the S here. Y aquí no lleva la S. All right? We just add the S in possessive pronoun. This is, for example, um, eh, de ustedes. Cuando uno dice de ustedes. Right? Y aquí usted, de usted, de ustedes. El you y el you plural, right? Your, your, yours, yours. Están iguales, right? The difference is one is singular and one is plural, right? Este libro de usted, o, o es suyo, right? Este libro, esta casa es suya. No sé how you say it in Spanish, o de ustedes, right? Let me see. They, their... And for possessive pronoun, theirs, theirs, you add the S. If you notice, si usted dan cuenta, the possessive adjectives always come before the object. Possessive pronouns come after, after the object, okay? After the object. Now. Well, let's do some of these. Now, algunas de estas quizás ya las, se las he demostrado antes, right? Maybe the possessive adjective here. But look at these. You have possessive adjectives. You have possessive adjectives here. Y aquí se los puse también. Aquí están escritos también. They're here also. Possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns. Okay. You also have possessive nouns. Donde le posemos la apostrofe S para posesivos. Right? These are names. Okay? These are for names. Y aquí le puse unos ejemplos. Okay? For example, um, si este teléfono fuera de Ricardo, Yo voy a decir, this is Ricardo's phone or cell phone. Lo voy a escribir para que tengamos una. No. This is Ricardo's cell phone. Okay. If you notice. Hay una apostrofe S aquí. Right? Apostrofe. Esta tilde que se le está arriba se le llama apostrofe. Apostrofe. O oh, apostrofe, right? Apostrofe. This is Ricardo's cell phone. The apostrophe S. The apostrophe S. Significa. Posesión. 
posesión y quiere decir de. All right? De. Okay? Now, yo sé que en español no existe la contracción de posesión, right? But when someone says, this is Ricardo's phone, está diciendo, este es el teléfono o el celular de Ricardo. De Ricardo. All right? Alguien me puede dar un ejemplo utilizando el possessive noun, así como está apostrofe S. Yes. Un, un, por este yo escucha también que en los salones de, de belleza ponen Cristina's salón o ponen. Salón, ¿eh? o uh -huh. beauty salón, o beauty salón, salón de belleza, right? All right, beauty salón. All right. Cristina's beauty salón. Very good, right? El salón de belleza de Cristina. All right. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Es una slogan que está como un rótulo. O Cristina's salón, right? Or Cristina's, oh, okay, look, cafeteria, right? You can, también puede ser Cristina's coffee shop, right? Coffee shop. Coffee shop, right? Or anything else that you would like uh, to give possession. Ahora, deme una posesión como de algo. Una oración completa. A complete sentence. Let me see. Nidia. Uh, the Nidia's pen. Okay, Nidia's pen. Nidia's pen. Mm -hmm. Are green. Uh, is green. Sorry. Very good. Is green. Excellent. All right. So, ¿Qué quiso decir ahí? La, eh, lapicero verde es de Nidia. De Nidia. Ok. Now you can also say, let me see. Um, eh, Nidia, you had, usted mostró los perritos, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, now, si uno de ellos tiene un juguete, ¿qué tipo de juguete sería? Imagine un juguete, dígame usted qué sería. Una pelotita. Okay, okay. Y dígame qué color es la pelotita. Eh, verde. Okay, verde otra vez. All right. ¿Alguien me puede dar la oración allí y... Eh, la pelota ah la pelota la pelota del perro es verde sería de dog de dog balls de dog balls is green Okay. Así sería. The ball's dog is green. Okay. The dog's ball. Dogs. The, the dog's ball. The dog's. The dog's ball. With a prostitute. Okay. It's green. It's green. Así sería clase? Sí. Okay. All right, very good. Yes, that is correct. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Remember, eh, Tatiana, la posesión tiene que ir en, en el subject, right? No puede ir en, en la, no puede decir como eh, 
el perro de pelotas es verde, right? No. La pelota del, del <risa> perro es verde, ¿ok? So la posesión tiene que ir de perro, right? Del perro, right? Porque es de él. Ahora, vamos a poner otro ejemplo. I'm going to give another example. Um, la casa de Henry es grande. The Henry's house. Okay, is no, 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 no. Okay, you, the Henry, no, but diga Henry's. Henry. Henry's. Okay, very good. Porque Henry. estoy pensando. In English, yo sé que en español decimos la casa, right? But in English, cuando ya di algo específico como mi nombre, you can use. El nombre. El nombre, yes. Okay. Henry's okay. house is big. Okay. Eh, ¿Dónde va el apóstrofe? Nidia. Después del de nombre de Henry. All right. Henry apóstrofe es. Very good. Henry's house is big. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very good. Henry's house is big. Very good. Now. Um. If I want to say, digamos que esté en unos platos, un plato de comida en la mesa. Imagine that. Imagínese eso. Está un plato de comida allí. Yeah. La comida right? para generar. Y yo quiero decir, esa, esa, como de lejos, right? direccional, esa es la comida de... Adriana. Okay. Esa es la comida de Adriana. No la tocan, right? Esa es la comida de Adriana. Esa. Si está lejos, no está aquí. No es 10. Si está lejos, ¿cuál vamos a utilizar? That. Very good. So ya iniciamos bien. Ya iniciamos bien. That. Ahora, complétenlo. Esa es la comida de Adriana. Uh, that Adriana's food. Okay. Cerca. That is ah, Adriana's that, uh, food. Yeah. Uh -huh. Continue, please. Dan Danubia, ¿es usted? Sí. Okay, diga. That, that is Adriana's food. Excellent. That is Adriana's Adriana's food. Food. Very good. All right. That is Adriana's food. Esa es la comida. Si pueden ver allí, no dice el D tampoco, ¿va? This is D. That is D, right? That is derechito al nombre. Adriana's food, right? Nombre propio, nombre específico. That is Adriana's food. Esa es la comida de Adriana, all right? Very good. Excellent. That is a little practice so you can see how to use possessive nouns. Okay, porque es diferente a los otros dos. Por eso le estoy poniendo un poco de emphasis aquí. All right. So, the others are a little bit different. So, voy a borrar esto. Let me see. All right. Si lo tienen, le pueden tomar captura. If not, I'm going to take it off. Ok, now, possessive adjective. Ahí les demostré possessive nouns, ok, with names, con nombres. Let's go back to the possessive adjectives, right? Possessive adjectives, pregunta, voy a llamar a alguien. Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Andadrade. Sí. Ok. El possessive adjective viene antes o después del object? Antes. 
antes. Ok, very good. Very good. Excellent. <clears throat> Gabriela Dueñas. Gabriela Dueñas. Sí. Ok. The possessive pronoun. ¿Tiene antes uh -huh. o después uh -huh. del object? The possessive pronoun. El possessive pronoun. ¿Tiene antes o después del object? De antes. Mm, ok. Bye. Ok. Adriana. Hello. Después. Right. No se oye. Yes, I can hear you. Ah. Ok, thank you. All right, let me see. Voy a regresar a... Let me see. Yo, teacher. Gabriela. Gabriela. Sí. Ok. Eh, usted me dijo en la respuesta que venía antes, ¿verdad? El proceso de pronoun. Sí. Ok, le puedo hacer una pregunta sincera. Cuando yo di la instrucción de que escribieran eh, la estructura, ¿usted la escribió? Eh, no. Vaya. Por eso la respuesta está eh, incorrecta. ¿Ok? So, le sugiero, Gabriela, que por favor tome nota porque vamos a hacer unas actividades y ya tiene que saber bien cuál es la estructura. El possessive pronoun viene después <coughs> del object. ¿Ok? Gabriela. Okay. Y el possessive adjective viene antes del objeto. Right? Una vez más para todos. Right? No se me van a quedar atrás. Right? El possessive adjective viene antes del object y el possessive pronoun viene después del object. Si no toman nota, bueno, I'm sorry. Okay? Esta es la última okay. vez que le voy a recordar. <clears throat> All right? Let's continue. Thank you, Adriana, for participating. You are correct. All right? Now, let's do these activities, all right? Let's do these activities. Vamos a hacer estas actividades. Let me see. Possessive adjectives. The boy likes, the boy likes, Gabriela? Yes. Okay. okay, go ahead. Uh, let me see. Carolina, ¿cuál era? He's, he's very, good. very good, very good, excellent. The boy likes he's his school. Very good. Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de un boy, right? Lisa, Ricardo. Lisa sees sees her mother every day. Very good. Her mother, right? Her mother, because we're talking about Lisa. All right. Uh, let me see. Gabriela. Dueñas. Okay, let me see. Deje empezar a tomar nota yo de la participación de, de clase. Let me see, voy a poner la fecha de hoy. Uh, July 29th. Okay, ya participa solo Ricardo. Y... Voy a empezar a tomar nota. Ok, thank you, Ricardo. ¿Quién fue antes de Ricardo que me dio la otra? Para hacer un listado ahorita de quienes participan y quienes no. Carolina. Carolina, thank you. Yo, teacher. All right. All right. Let me see. Una vez más. Gabriela Dueñas, number three, please. Sí. Eh, my teacher. Uh -huh. Bring their lunch to school. Very good. Thank you, Gabriela. Perfect. Excelente. Ok, Gabriela. Very good. Next. Cristian. Yes, teacher. Uh, the cat eats, eat, eats food quickly. Ok, good, good effort. Cristian, vamos a mejorar la pronunciación. The cat eats. The cat eats. Eats. Eat. It's <laughs> quick. <laughs> All right, very good, very good. Let me see. That was um, Christian, right? Christian. Excellent. Thank you, Christian. Good job. Next one. 
Um, you always, let me see, Adriana. You always wear your uniform at the school. Okay, repeat it, please. You always wear your uniform at the school. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Adriana. Excellent, good job. Next one. Voy a llamar a algunos que tienen la cámara apagada, right? Por lo cual la tenían que tener prendida, right? Pero cada quien. Let me see, voy a poner aquí. Danubia. Okay, cámara apagada. Okay, can you do the next one, please? The birds always sleep in your nest. Okay, cerca. Okay, close. Let me see, Mayensi, cámara apagada. Okay, Mayensi, cámara apagada. Okay, Mayensi. Oh, ya le encendió, thank you. Voy a quitar esto. All right. Can you read, please? Donde se quedó la compañera, vamos a ver si la puede decir usted. Mayensi, can you activate your... Microphone, please. What? The bird, the bird. And the bird always sleep in the day. Mm, okay, cerca. Okay, Mayensi, thank you for participating. Right, ¿Quién más tiene la cámara apagada aquí para anotar? Okay, Jenny Palencia. Jenny Palencia, cámara apagada. Okay, ya le encendió. Thank you. All right. Hi, teacher. Hi, can you read the, the next one? Vamos a ver quién la saca bien. Jen, the bird. The bird always sleep in its nest. Ah, very good, Jenny. It's its nest. It's... Very, yes, all right. Very good, Jenny. All right. ¿Y por qué es its? Porque es un pajarito, right? The bird, el pájaro, right? Estamos hablando de un animalito. The bird always sleeps in its, en su nido, right? In its nest. And we use its because <clears throat> it's an animal. Porque es un animalito, right? The bird always sleeps in its nest, right? Recuerden, cuando es un animal, si yo le cambio el pájaro y le pongo un león, no, no puede ser en un nido, right? Um, que, la águila, the eagle, right? The eagle, si yo cambio bird a eagle, siempre va a decir it's. It's the same. It's the same, right? It's, it's, when referring to animals. Remember que cuando es plural, si yo escribo esto, clase, the birds. Okay. The birds always, yo no sé por qué, se para. Always, esta, siempre se para cuando escribo la plataforma, ¿no? Okay, the birds always wear, ay, no wear, always sleep in, aquí estoy diciendo pájaros, right? Aquí qué sería clase? Parece que se los comenté una vez. There. There, right? Very good. No. No sale. There. Yo me equivoco bastante. Ah, very good, right? So, the birds always sleep in their nest. Si es plural, clase, students. If it's plural, si lo que estamos hablando es plural, siempre vamos a utilizar there, ¿ok? Si son animales, right? Aunque diga, bueno, el there lo llamamos para ellos, pero se considera third person y there, right? Es plural, not third person, pero es plural, right? Quise decir que está bajo el, en la columna de la humanidad, right? Los animalitos. So, we use there, ¿ok? Remember that. No vayan a poner it's. Okay, it's is only for one, for singular. It's only for singular, right? Si quieren entender eso, el it's únicamente, exclusivamente para singular, 
y es para cosas o animales, pero no más para uno. Si es plural, es, se utiliza el there, aunque sean animales. ¿Ok? There for possessive adjectives. ¿Ok? Ok, let's continue. Let me see. Oh, man. Uh, ok. Next part. Possessive pronouns. Now, aquí, here, I want you to be... Remember, aquí quiero que se acuerden de esto. Ok. Right. El I le pertenece a qué posesivo? Mine. Mine, very good. Y para el he? His. 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 It, for, all right, and for she? Hers. Hers, Hers. very Hers. good. Very good, and for they? Theirs. Very good, all right, so with this is a little bit different now. All right, so we have possessive now, y aquí se los puse, okay? I put it right here so you will not get lost. Let me make this bigger. Dun, dun, dun. All right, I'm going to make this bigger. Okay, let me see. All right, it says number one. Let me see. Okay, Francisco. Francisco Anaya. Okay. Francisco Anaya. Okay. Francisco Anaya. Okay. No responde. No response. Hi, teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. Okay. Can you do number one, please? I have a, I had a new book. It is mine. Okay, very good. Yes. All right, very good. I have a new book. It is mine. All right. Mine. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, thank you. All right, let me see. I have a new book. It is mine. It's mío, right? Mine. All right. Number two, ¿se acuerdan ustedes cuando estaban chiquitos o chiquitas? Tenían un juguete. No, es mío, right? It's mine, right? Sí. Ni lo prestan, right? Pero cuando querían que le prestaran, sí, prestame, prestame. El camión o la Barbie o something, right? Now, number two, Mr. Ricardo. Yes, teacher. She has a new cat. It is hers. Very good. She has a new cat. It is hers, right? Very good. It's the ella, right? It is hers. Number three, Jessica Carrillo. We have, we have new, new shoes. They are. Careful. They are. Cuidado aquí, Jessica. Right? No hay confundir, okay? They are. Mm, okay, se confundó ahí. Okay, no problem. Thank you for trying, Jessica. Let me see, Adriana. We have new shoes. They are ours. Mm, hours. 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 Right? hours. Eh, la respuesta está correcta. Just a little bit of pronunciation, right? Hours. Right. Hours. We have. We have new shoes. Nosotros. We. Tenemos nuevos zapatos. They are, son, nuestros. Right? They are ours. Como pueden ver el day, porque es plural. Shoes. Y recuerde, cuando es plural, animales, objetos, utilizamos el day. Right? Así como posesivo, there. Right? Pero aquí nomás como subject, they are ours. Nos estamos refiriendo a qué? Los zapatos. Los zapatos. Yes. All right. All right. Es como que uno diga, nosotros tenemos nuevas casas. 
we have new houses, right? Nosotros son nuestras, right? Nuestras, right? If we say they are theirs, si decimos son theirs, estamos diciendo que son de ellos, right? Y ahí como que ya no, right? So, hey, son de nosotros, right? Uh, they are ours, okay? Now, um, okay, Jessica, one more. So you can redeem. Number five. She has. Mm, she and he has. Bye, okay. <laughs> he has a new car. It is. Sería his. Excellent. I see. Very good. Porque nos estamos refiriendo al carro de él. Very good. Y no se confundió con el it, ¿verdad? Very good, Jessica. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. He has a new car. It is his. Es de él. All right. Now, eh, let me see. Mayensi. Number six. Mm -hmm. Number six. Aquí Mayensi va a elegir una de estas tres. Ok. Sí. Pasándose a la respuesta. Ok. Eso va a parar aquí. Donde hay el puntito rojo. Dele. Ok. ¿Cuál sería entonces Mayensi? Continue. Siga aquí también. Ok. Sí, donde está el puntito rojo. Aquí. ¿Puede ver mi pantalla? ¿Dónde está el punto rojo? ¿Puede ver el punto rojo? No, no lo veo. Ok, ¿los demás pueden ver el punto rojo? Sí. Yes, I see. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay, bye. All right, pero puede ver la oración esta, ¿verdad? Ah, oh, sí. The how is they? Okay. Continúe, por favor. Bye. The how is they? Okay. This, the house. This, my house. The house is man. The house is our, or this, uh, this our house. Okay, bye. All right, let me see. Okay, thank you, thank you, Mayensi. Raquel, tiene la mano levantada, la mano levantada. Would I teacher? Yes, can you do it, please? The house is theirs. Okay. This is their house. Their house. Their house. Okay, very good. Continue. This is my house. This house is mine. This house is ours. Okay. Ours. Yes. This is our house. Very good. Very good. So we have here the house is theirs. Theirs. Esta es la respuesta. Theirs. Okay. Theirs. Okay. Let me see. Mayensi. Okay. El, el possessive el possessive pronoun viene después o antes del, del object. Después. ¿Cómo Mayensi? Mayensi, please. Mayensi. ¿Cómo? Mayensi. Antes, antes dice ella. Right. Okay. Una vez más, lo voy a decir una vez más. Espero que lo escriban, ¿ok? Porque si no lo comprenden o no lo escriban, se van a equivocar todas <coughs> las veces, ¿ok? Lo voy a decir una vez más. El possessive adjective viene antes del object. El possessive pronoun viene después del object, ¿ok? So aquí dice the house. La casa es el object. Lo que sigue es el possessive pronoun porque viene después del object. ¿Ok? 
Entonces, ¿cuál de estos tres es el possessive pronoun? No es they ni there. Es theirs. theirs. Very good. All right. Y como pueden ver aquí, está el there. Aquí. There viene antes del object, del objeto. Por lo cual, este there es el possessive adjective. Ok. And then, si usted quiere decir, esta es mi casa, you're going to use my. This is my house. Ok. My house. Ok. Esta casa es mía. ¿Qué es mine? Possessive adjective or possessive pronoun? Mine is possessive pronouns. Very good, very good. ¿Y cómo sabemos también que es possessive pronoun? Porque viene después del objeto. After, after complement. After. No, after the object. All right. After the object. Yeah, okay. All right. Because yes. está dando la posesión al objeto. All right. The object. The house is ours. ¿Qué es ours? Possessive adjective or possessive pronoun? Possessive pronoun. Pronoun. Very good. Pronoun. Very good. Why? Porque viene después del object. Now, here it says, this is our house. Esta es nuestra casa. Is our possessive adjective or possessive pronoun? Possessive adjective. 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 Okay. adjective. ¿Y por qué es possessive adjective? Porque va antes del objeto. Excelente, right? Cuando usted ya sabe o me puede decir o puede elaborar una oración y saber que viene antes o después, usted ya sabe cuál es cuál. All right? De lo contrario va a estar adivinando siempre. Okay? Very good, very good. Practice this, practice this because it's important. Because tomorrow we are going to continue, right? Tomorrow I'm going to give you some uh, activities that you are going to do by yourself. Lo van a hacer solo y sola y me lo mandarían a mí, right? You will send it to me. Y no es mañana, es el lunes. No. We are on vacation, right? Siempre me equivoco, right? Eh, right? <laughs> Alguien dígame algo, right? Alguien jale me lo deja a mí también, right? Teacher, yeah. hey, no hay clase mañana, teacher, right? Dígame, si está en nada, ¿eh? Pero no, si no. se lo quiere dar mañana, de la... <risa> no, no problem. No problem. Now, remember, no hay tarea. All right? No hay tarea. Uh. Pero sí le voy a decir algo. La tarea es que repasen el possessive adjective y el possessive pronoun. Y también el possessive noun. Para que cuando regresemos de vacaciones, no tenga que estar adivinando. Ok, All right. porque ya no vamos a estar para dar, regresar de nuevo, sino que para avanzar. All right. Y no quiero que nadie se quiera atrás. All right. Por lo cual les suplico que vea el video de que les enseñé hasta la plataforma o esta misma videoconferencia. All right. Ya para luego, cuando regresemos de vacaciones, vamos a hacer un repaso de esto y lo van a hacer speaking. Van a hacer una speaking, dando ejemplos. This is my blue pin. This blue pin is mine. All right? Ya sin tanto, teacher, voy a escribir, espérenme. No. All right? This is, this is my mouse. This mouse is mine. All right? Y así sucesivamente. So be ready. I'm glad you practice, right? Y espero que sigan en el progreso. And thank you for your participation. Raquel, do you have a question? No? Okay. Now, enjoy your vacation. ¿Cuándo regresamos a clases? Para que todos quedemos claros aquí. When do we return? Monday night. Nueve. Monday. Monday night. Monday night. Yes, en nueve, right? So, enjoy your vacation. Les deseo lo mejor. Cuídense. Bendiciones a todos. And thank you for joining the class. I'll see you on the 9th of August. Take care. Thank you for you. No problem. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.